Jack, when the final whistle blew at Wembley the other day, tell us what, what it felt like. Uh, relief. Um, no, just pure happiness, actually. Um, you know, it was obviously a massive night um, for this country, you know, um, getting getting through to the quarterfinals, uh, you know, it was a big achievement and to do it in front of our own fans at Wembley was it was an unbelievable feeling. I mean, looking at you from the outside, it looks like you're having the best, su the best summer ever. Yeah, no, I am. Um, what do you mean, me or the team? Me personally, yeah. Um, no, I am obviously enjoying every single moment of it. Um, you know, being here with this group of lads is is um, is some you know that I won't take for granted. You know, these these tournaments don't come round um, every, every day, so uh, you know it's something that I'm absolutely loving it in, at the moment and and just trying to take it all in. And can you explain the art of coming off the bench as you did the other day? And being able to have that impact on, on the game, you know, playing a part in the first goal, setting up the second. How do you get in that mindset to, to come on and make a difference? Um, you know, if I'm honest, I don't think it's you, you really need any mindset. You know, it's a team game. Uh, you know, I weren't in the starting 11 and I was on the bench, you know, so you're going to come on and, and try and impact the game, um, you know, whether you're an attacker or or a defender, that's what you're going to do, you know, try and impact the game. If you're a defender, you're going to defend for your life. And if you're an attacker, you know, you're going to want to try and score or create. And, you know, fortunately, I did that. But you, you're coming on and playing with, with the freedom. And it seems like you're not the only one. I mean, there's other players here, like yourself, in their first tournament, who seem to be playing with that fearlessness. Is that, is, is it contagious? How, what's it like? Yeah, no, I think I've always been like that, um, you know, wherever I've played, uh, I feel like that's what I try and do, you know, I try and play with this fearlessness, but also just enjoy it as much as you can and, and um, you know, you're going to enjoy it by playing well and winning, so, um, you know, when I come on, that's what, that's what I just try and do, you know, enjoy it um, and, and try and help the team as much as possible and, you know, the game was nil-nil the other night when I come on, so... Um, you know, I don't think it's any secret to anyone why the manager brought me on and that was to try and, um, you know, try and create something and, you know, like I said, fortunately I did. And generally speaking on behalf of that group of you, the, the lads for whom this is the first tournament, what, what's the feeling like? Are you looking to make history as you are? Yeah, no, of course, that's what we want to try and do. Uh, you know, you said it there, we want to try and make history, but we also just want to take each game as it comes. We have a we have another tough game Saturday um, uh, against against Ukraine, so we know it's going to be going to be a tough game, um, and we're just taking one step at a time at the moment. Beating Germany, though, what did that mean in terms of the, the, the belief, confidence? Yeah, no, it was an unbelievable uh, feeling. You know, Germany are an unbelievable side. You know, we've. With winners all over, all over their team, um, you know I think their team was one of the best in the tournament. Personally, um, so much talent all over, um, but you know we didn't really doubt ourselves, and we never would. You know we also have talent all over the pitch, um, and and you know we have belief as well. That's one thing that you need coming into these tournaments, and um, and and like I says, we have a lot of it. Uh, so yeah, we, it was obviously a, a great night, but you know, like I said, now we just we have to try and forget about that one and, and focus on Saturday. As if we don't win Saturday, it wouldn't have meant too much. What kind of challenge do you expect? It's obviously going to be a tough game. You know, it's going to be it's going to be difficult um, against a different opposition, um, a different location, different different weather and stuff. Um, but yeah, now we just have to have to you know play to, to, to what we know and, and we'll have been preparing all this week um, leading up to it so um, you know fingers crossed we can go there and get the win. Um, I know you're a professional footballer but were there goosebumps on Tuesday at some point in that game? Ah oh, 100% yeah you know it was one of the best atmospheres I've, I've ever um, I've ever played in um, you know it was I can't even explain to you, you know, the feeling, you know, when I come onto the pitch and, and when we scored and, and the feeling at the end, it was, it was something that I'll, I'll never forget and something that will just, you know, live in, live in my head forever. It'll be even better if you go on and win this now. 
Of course, yeah. Um, you know, I think that's no secret to anyone. But like I said, you know, we just have to try and take each game as it comes because knockout football, you know, is scary at times because anything can happen. You know, one loss and you're out, um, one win and you're through. So, um, you know, we have a lot of experience in there who, who have played knockout football before, um, who have played in tournaments like this before. So um, we know what it's about. So... Just obviously uh, heads on Saturday now. Okay. Did you sleep by the way on Tuesday night? Or I didn't get a fat lot, nah. I didn't get a fat lot of sleep. I can't really sleep after games. So I was actually just in my room watching the game back. Um, but yeah, no, it was obviously, you know, it was one of them games where, you know, adrenaline and stuff's running high. So um, it's obviously difficult, you know, to, tr to try and get uh, sleep after that. Um, but no, I'm fully, fully prepared now and focused on Saturday.